Hello friends, welcome to the programmer's world, in this video, I will show you, how to create dynamic views in your Android application. As you know that we can simply create a view, such as text views, edit texts, and buttons in our activity, but suppose if you are creating a billing application, in which you want to generate the views according to the requirement of user. Like this. Then, you have to generate these views dynamically, we have seen this type of example in billing applications. So, Here in Android Studio, you can see I have already created a project, View Demo. In this project I have just created a static list view demo, which you can see in my previous video, it's really simple. I am going to extend this project so that you can better understand the use of dynamic views. Here you can see that, I have two Java classes and two XML files. These files are just populating a list view. Now first of all I will create a new activity, where I will generate dynamic views. And let's name it as, Billing Activity. As you can see, I have created a new activity, so I have to make some changes in its layout and I also have to add a button to it. I am adding button to it and I will have to assign ID to it. You can modify the properties of button according to your requirements. Now, I will create a new Java class, and this class will help us to generate the dynamic views, when we require to generate them. Let's name it as dynamic views. In this class, first of all, create an object of context class and also create its constructor. And now, we will create three methods which will create dynamic text view and edit text. I have pasted the code here, you can pause the video to see the code of these method.
Here, as you can see, we have created three methods, first is description text view, second is received quantity edit text and third one is price of item, and in this line of code. Layout params are used by views, to tell their parents how they want to be laid out. And in the second line we are creating the instance of text view dynamically according to the context. In the next line we are setting the view in the layout, and in the rest of lines, we are defining the properties of view. And returning text view here. Here, we can see that if we run this app, this will give us a simple list view, but first of all, we want to see billing page. So in Android manifest file we have to shift launcher activity. So just cut this code from here. And, paste it under the billing activity. Now save the manifest file and just run the program. Here, you can see, now billing activity is the activity we are getting first. Now, we will add a grid layout in our billing activity, in which we will place, our views, which will be generated dynamically. Let's give an ID for this. Also give column count 3, and some padding to it. Let's generate some static text views in this layout. As we can see, we have taken linear layout, and we are also taking grid layout inside the linear layout. So, first of all we have to define the orientation of the linear layout. Let's provide some padding and color to our static text views. Now, we will go to our billing activity.java class, and we have to define the layout variable along with button and some other variables. As we have taken grid layout in billing activity XML file, 
so we have to take grid layout here. Now, we will take a button and typecast both of these in on create method. Now let's create the instance of a dynamic view class also. And, let's do our coding inside the click event of a ditem button. We will initialize the DNV object. And then. This is giving, an error here, because this require a context variable. So let's create a context variable to get the context. Now, simply use the addView method of GridLayout class to add the view dynamically. Now, simply use the addView method of GridLayout class to add the view dynamically. Here, you can see that this addView method takes two arguments, first one is view argument and another one which is the position, where view will be displayed. And inside this in place of view, we have generated view by using our dynamic view class. And in place of context, we have passed get application context and second argument is of string type. Similarly, we will generate all the views. It is giving some error, oh yes, it require two arguments. Let's run this program. Oops. It crashed. Let's see what's the problem.
java.lang.index out of bounds exception, index equals 4 count equals 3, it means that the index in which we have displayed the view is 4 and we have taken column count 3, let's change the positions of the views. Let's run it again. We are not able to see the price, so, we have to check in dynamic view.java class. As, you see, it's working fine. Here we saw that description is static in all fields, we can link this with our list view, means when the user will click on add item button, the list will pop up and the user will select the item from list view and the same description will appear dynamically in our next tutorial. Also you can design it better according to your requirement. I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe the Programming World channel by clicking on red color subscribe button below. And also like and share this video if you like. I hope you are enjoying programming in Java and Android. Thanks for watching.